Sorry about the take. Oh man, she came in when I wasn't looking, you know? Otherwise I'd have saved it for you. Cause you know, you're a regular and I mean, we're friends, you know? Friends. I take a very nice picture. Last, and of course he was writing uh, the best poetry in the world, uh, the most highbrow poetry and also the Saturday evening pulp thrillers, grotesque horror. And he was a, he was a real complicated writer, great genius. Twisted I don't subscribe to the credo that there's enough room for everyone to be successful. I think there are only a few spots available. I feel like you didn't give me a chance to say what I wanted to say. I want to punch that guy in the nose. Now somebody has to help these poor people. This moment presents a great opportunity for Tamerlane and the United States for that matter. It was like I was a ghost walking down the street. And when I got home now, The place felt empty. Maybe it's dealt me some bum cards. Or maybe I just haven't played them right. I don't know. This is a historic moment, Hauser. Big bad John. From all accounts, he was, you know, born an alcoholic. And, um... When he start, started drinking, he couldn't stop. Uh, and, uh, you know, but he was the first kind of outward rogue drunk who, who lived really publicly and, you know, spoke very brazenly. And he, he, and he picked fights with uh, other poets and writers of the time. And he was always getting into intellectual feuds and uh, writing about his demons and writing about the abyss and the romance of the abyss. You know, he... he uh, he wrote one of uh, my favorite stories, which I know is one of yours, is the, uh, the Imp of the Perverse. Yes. And that's the imp that makes you do the exact wrong thing and draws you into doing the most self-destructive thing at the exact wrong time. And uh, somehow Poe found the romance in that, but I think a lot of people do. Meta Poe, which is, you know, he wrote about that space between being awake and being asleep between life and death, between sanity and insanity. And he was always talking about the dream within the dream. So. And he was also, you know, a lot of times talking about his own demons and, and, and working out his own deepest fears and neuroses. 